Man, 2022. It's over now, but what a hell of a year was it? It was. Ray and I got married. Went three for three, and my class wins. Won the overall at the Winter Classic. Went to Tampa. Took the class down there. Won super heavies. And I quit my job. The week of Thanksgiving, the Tuesday before Thanksgiving actually, I had decided I was done. I no longer wanted to work for anyone else. They had started messing my hours around and sent me to this new location and just wasn't happy anymore. I worked 60, 70, 80 hours a week from 4th of July until the week of Thanksgiving and I kind of said something to my company, my management, that I was a little unhappy and asked for some changes and they told me to kick rocks. Just absolutely pathetic in my opinion. You work, I mean I had almost eight years in, coming up on 10 years, I got into the steel mill the day I, gra basically the day I graduated high school, it was 2014 and I just absolutely hated it. I had talked to some people and they told me that there was no real reason to put that much time and effort into, into something that you hated. And we did a lot better this season than I expected. My bodybuilding thing may, seems to be kind of taken off a little bit. I have almost 20 clients. I've gained so many new ones in the past few, few weeks now. Uh, I can barely keep track of all of them, which is just an absolute blessing. Thank you guys all so much for believing in me and thinking that I have some type of value to offer you. Um, I'm having a real, real hard time with this. I won't lie. This transaction, transition, it's not easy. Uh, I did find something on the side that I'm doing like 20, 30 hours a week at the moment, but it's not a whole lot. Um, We've mainly just kind of been focusing on bodybuilding and I took some advice from some people that I really respect and they were like, if, you, if you're not happy what you're doing, it's not worth it. And I've, I thought long and hard about this and if I can work 60, 70, 80 hours a week for somebody else, imagine what that amount of effort could get for myself building my own brand. Um, Reagan and I together, we, what, what we could accomplish the, our future moving forward so yeah the, the week of Thanksgiving I quit my job and it's been about a month and a half now uh, it's gone a lot smoother than I expected we initially we were gonna pack everything up and move all the way out to Phoenix I had a job lined up with a guy and we, we had kind of had a few properties that we were looking at but I don't necessarily think that I have to or need to get a nine to five or a w2 style job right now we're gonna give this bodybuilding and coaching thing a shot i won't lie i haven't been that focused for the past few weeks i got what i wanted and man success and winning is a, it's it's a it's it's bittersweet because now now i just kind of have this empty feeling like I, I got what I accomplished. I put so much into that. The the Winter Classic I worked 13 months for. I've been bodybuilding now for about two years, two and a half years. And the last year really made a big difference. I can't imagine what this next year is going to be. I was I was sleeping maybe three, four hours a week a night there towards the end. I was an hour and a half of cardio, train for an hour, work a 16 hour shift every other day. The fellows over at Mintech, you, you guys saw me struggle and he, I told you all it was coming. And uh, I don't know, I, I won't lie, I'm a little scared. I'm a little nervous. We went and bought a Mercedes, went and bought a brand new car. Then I quit my job a few weeks later. So we're gonna make it work. Reagan and I have been through a, a hell of a lot worse. I've been laid off multiple times throughout this and it just, it wasn't for me anymore. I I don't like the fact that I was just a number on a piece of paper. I was, for the years and years, all I was was badge number 180938 and 
I value myself more than that. That's just disgusting to me. I I couldn't I couldn't make it another day. Not a single day. I sat on the couch. I was supposed to work a 16-hour shift. I think at midnight even. And I sat there and cried like a baby. I had barely slept. I had to do two hours of cardio. I had to train. We were a couple weeks out from my show. And I just, I, I couldn't do it another day. I absolutely hated it. I hated what I was doing. I hated how I was talked to. I hated how I was treated. No human should ever have to be that unhappy in your life. This, the, the, the world, there's, there's too much opportunity. There's no, no reason to put up with that. So this is definitely a new chapter. It's 2023, today's, today's the second. Uh, I did want to get this out a few days ago, but we, we were kind of busy. But this is, this is gonna be a new chapter moving forward. I'm gonna try really hard, really, really hard to document everything. And currently we're about 39 or 40 weeks out from the next show that I plan on doing. At this point, I've given up control and I'm not even making decisions anymore. I've completely let my coach take over. He kind of gave me a date, like a time frame to pick a show. So I kind of have one that I'm thinking maybe in uh, October. It's the Whitney Jones Classic. It's in Phoenix, which we're trying to move to anyway. So maybe we'll fly there for vacation or maybe we'll just drive there because we live there. I really have no idea. This really threw a wrench into my plans. I had I had 10 year, 20 year plans, ways I was gonna retire. Reagan, I had all kinds of ambitions and sometimes you gotta know when when to when to call the audible, when to change things. Um, again, like like I kinda said, if if I could work that many hours for somebody else on a on a fixed income, on a fixed salary, we went through our union contract this season. It was absolutely pathetic. It was a joke. It was a slap in the face. They, it was insulting. And I just, my, my number one beef with working that type of job was I could either be the best worker in the room or I could be the worst employee they had ever had. And at the end of the day, my paycheck was gonna be the same. And I just couldn't stand that anymore. I didn't like going into work and not performing at my best. But I also didn't like going and just wasting my time. So this is, this is a way that I think I can definitely show my work ethic and my drive and my motivation a different way. So we are, we're gonna try and pull this off. We'll see what happens. Um, maybe, 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 maybe 2024, we'll make a run at a pro card. We're gonna, I got a little bit of growing to do still, but 2024 i think we're gonna make a run at nationals we'll see how 2023 goes 2022 did not end anywhere near like i expected it to i will not lie so who knows i have no idea what 2023 has in store for us i really wanted this to be a much prettier video i mean you kind of see the water but it's like working in the mill all over again gloomy and i hate it anyway I just kind of wanted to get this up to some people knew some people didn't uh, It's been almost two months now, so I figured we, we might as well let some people know uh, <laughs> I just I'm very excited. I'm very nervous for this new chapter But I am I'm very excited this this starts a whole new a whole new phase in my life. I've worked since I was 14 I've always just clocked in and expected somebody to pay me at the end of the week. Now, now it's up to me. Going to the gym has a little bit of a different feel now. I mean, I'm no pro. I have no sponsorships lined up yet. Maybe talking to a few companies, but now's my time. Now's my time to put my put the work in. I can go back and get another job and find a retirement, a 401k, whatever, normal life when I'm 30. I I put up on my Instagram uh, some people commented like what I thought the vi what they thought the video was going to be and uh, uh, I had quite a few people say something about Reagan being pregnant which not yet I mean we're definitely talking about it that's that's for sure a possibility it's it's not in our control it's in God's hands at this point but yeah I just wanted to get this video up 
and this is going to be the start of a, a really good year for both me, Reagan, our relationship, our future, my team. We got the Armstrong Empire thing going. I'm trying to get a clothing line started. We got some t-shirts. You guys have probably seen those at this point. I'm trying to come up with a whole website we're going to launch with some hoodies, some joggers, maybe a Mrs. line. If, if I'm going to invest that much time into somebody else, I might as well put that into myself first and see what happens. So this video ran a little longer and I expected, oh my goodness, 10 minutes. I got to wrap it up. I got to go train back. I'm meeting two clients at the gym today, actually. Uh, hopefully I can seal the deal on them. But yeah, this is, this is the new chapter. This is 2023. We'll see what happens. We're tentatively, yeah, like I said, 40 weeks out. So lots of big things to come.